Today we are doing a bold move, especially for someone who is recovering from a cold and can barely talk without coughing every four words. We are going to be doing Tart Week. And if you guys don't know what that is, don't worry, I will explain it. Just listen to the holiday music first. aka Total Makeup Junkie 101 and welcome back to Holiday Review Extravaganza on my channel. Today is going to be the start of a very exciting week in my Holiday Review Extravaganza and that is the beginning of Tarte Week. So I did end up picking up four of the new exciting Tarte holiday releases. Two of them are exclusive to Sephora, two of them are exclusive to Ulta. We will be doing all of them in separate videos this week. So you guys will be seeing Tarte holiday review videos popping up in your subscription box Monday, which is today's video, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We are going to go ahead and kick off Tarte week with the product I was the most excited about reviewing. This is the new Sephora exclusive set. This is called the Light of the Party set. I picked this product up at Sephora.com for $59. You can also get it in stores at Sephora. And according to the Sephora website, this is a $394 value. So jumping right into the overall layout of the set, this is what the outer box looks like, which is absolutely gorgeous. It has a nice metallic gold on the back. And then it has this sequin thing, which can be taken as pretty gaudy. Personally, I think it's really pretty. I like this rose gold copper with the very shiny silver with the kind of matte gray and the gold. I also really, really love the outer box that this palette actually comes in. I thought this was just so beautiful with the chevron printing. And then the actual palette opens up like this. So you guys can see what the layout of it is. Down here you are getting a full eyeshadow palette which we will do full swatches of and I will give you guys my opinion of shortly. But we're actually gonna go ahead and start off with this top section here. Up in these little slots you get a couple of extra little goodies. The first thing you are getting is one deluxe size of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I've talked your ear off about this mascara before saying that it's not my all-time favorite mascara. It does the job, but it's not something I would personally purchase in a full size. And you are also getting a little double-ended brush. One side has kind of a stiff crease type brush, and the other side has a fluffy crease brush. The brushes are definitely soft, but you know, they're not the greatest quality of brush. Now up here at the top, you are essentially getting a little travel palette that actually completely pops out and removes from the rest of the case. And behind that palette, you do get a nice big mirror. Now this is what the actual little travel palette looks like. It's nice and thin. I think it's very, very cute with the chevron printing. It is made of a cardboard and it does have a little magnet that holds the palette shut. You don't get a mirror in the palette, which is a little unfortunate because if I were to actually use this as a travel palette, a mirror definitely would have been handy. And this is what the inside of the travel palette looks like. So you are getting a nice, pretty decent sized bronzer, a decent sized blush, a highlighter here, which can probably be doubled as an eyeshadow, and then you are getting six actual little shadow pans. Now the first thing that I definitely want to note, and I want to applaud Tarte for doing, is that they actually printed the names of all of the colors on the palette. That is a first for Tarte Holiday Collections, and I really, really appreciate that. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into swatches of this travel palette, starting with the bronzer. This is the shade Social Butterfly, which is a medium, slightly warm-toned bronzer. The blush you are getting is called Amazed, which is a really nice medium matte neutral rose. And the highlighter you are getting is called Pink Champagne which is a really, really sparkly, metallic, perfect pink champagne color. I 
definitely think these three face products are really great, fantastic quality, really soft, smooth, blendable, pigmented. This bronzer definitely wouldn't work as a bronzer on my skin tone, but if you are light to medium skin, you could definitely get that to work. So moving right into the six eyeshadow colors you're getting in here. First off, you are getting Popcorn Stand, which is a light matte creamy white. Wrapped up is a very, very light matte pink color. Dancer and Prancer is a slightly pearlized light to medium brown. Shining Star is a pretty metallic medium coppery brown. You'll Be Surprised is a medium to dark true cocoa brown. And Mulberry and Bright is a dark plummy purple. The six shadows are definitely very wearable, great colors to throw in a travel palette. You have a couple of darker colors if you wanted to use some of these as a liner. Of course, they're not going to give you the depth or dimension that a true dark brown or a black shadow will give you, but they can definitely get the job done. Overall, I think this little travel palette is very nice. It's very nicely put together. I do wish there was a mirror, but the sizes of everything in here is really nice, so I can't really complain about this. So now we're going to go ahead and jump into this larger section down here. This large section here has 24 different eyeshadow colors. Something I definitely want to note, which is kind of unfortunate, is that you cannot pop this palette out of this giant case. So if you want to use this palette as a whole, the only way you can use it is to store it in this case. Unless you wanted to depot the colors and put them in a Z palette or something like that. That's not really something I see me doing, but it is an option. Jumping right into swatches of all 24 of these colors, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the top row. First off, we have Sugar Cookie, which is a light matte beige color. In a flurry is a light pearly white. Fizz the season is a light, very, very shimmery champagne gold. It's snow time is a light, slightly pearlized white. Eggnog is a light matte yellow cream color. What a wonderful pearl is a light slightly pearly white. Now I'm gonna jump into the second row. Miracle of Light is a medium bronzy copper color. Rum Pum Plum is a light to medium plummy purple. Tartini is a light matte pink. Baby It's Gold Outside is a true, very, very glittery gold. Peach on Earth is a medium peachy brown. Come What Gray is a medium taupey matte gray. Moving right into the third row, Under the Missile Taupe is a darker, kind of plummy, shimmery brown. Ring-a-ling is a medium, very, very sparkly mauve. Fireside Chat is a medium coppery reddish color. Party Favored is a medium matte, kind of gray toned brown. Gingerbread Mansion is a dark red toned metallic brown. And Chrome for the Holidays is a very, very sparkly, glittery, medium metallic pewter. And finishing up this portion of the palette with the last row. Slay Watch is a dark gray toned matte brown. Mold Wine is a dark matte grape purple. Coco What Fun is a medium to dark red toned matte brown. Black Velvet is a true matte black. Haute Chocolate is a true dark matte cocoa brown. And Midnight Kiss is a true dark indigo purpley matte blue. Now my overall thoughts on this portion of the palette is that there are a lot of light colors and not enough medium colors for lid shades and not enough dark colors. These top two rows are just 
all light colors. I feel like there could have been more mid-tone colors. Now, the overall quality of these shadows is pretty typical for a Tarte palette. They're not the most pigmented shadows on the block. I always view Tarte shadows as kind of being the eyeshadow for an everyday makeup wearer or someone who doesn't necessarily want a very, very stark, bright, very noticeable eyeshadow look. These almost have a kind of thin texture. They blend out very quickly. They fade very quickly. If you don't use an eyeshadow primer under these, they definitely won't last very long on you. You can get a nice punch or pop if you do use a colored base under these colors, and they can last a while if you do that extra step. Obviously, this palette is going to be for someone who is interested in the eyeshadows because while you do get a couple of face products and some miscellaneous products thrown into this palette, for the most part, you're getting an eyeshadow palette. And you have to be okay with the big bulky packaging. You have to be okay with the color variety that you're getting, which is not a lot. It's definitely a very, very neutral palette. Now, do I see myself getting the most use out of this palette? Definitely not. Even if I was going for a neutral eyeshadow look, I would honestly probably opt for my MAC eyeshadows or some Too Faced eyeshadows or the Urban Decay Naked palette or something like that over this. While this overall packaging is very cute, it is pretty bulky and I just don't see myself reaching for this out of my drawer over any of my other more portable, just more user-friendly palettes. So that's pretty much all I have to say on the Tarte Light of the Party kit. Do I think it is a must-have? Absolutely not. I definitely do love the overall packaging of it, but for $59, you definitely have to love your neutral eyeshadows and be okay with having to build them up or maybe you enjoy having to build them up and having some of the colors be a little bit sheerer, therefore being potentially a little bit easier to work with. But everybody has their own preferences on eyeshadow formula and this one just isn't my preferred formula. So that's pretty much all I have to say on this palette. Definitely stay tuned for tomorrow because I will be doing a full swatch and comparison on the new Tarte blush palette that they released at Sephora. If you guys are new to my channel or haven't been keeping up to date with all of my holiday reviews, definitely know that I have a full holiday review extravaganza playlist. It is the first link in the description box down below and you guys can send over that playlist link to your friend or family member just giving a little hint hint at some of the things that may be on your holiday wish list. Thank you guys so much for watching, supporting, and subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys in another Tarte video tomorrow. I will see you then. Bye. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick side-by-side -side look at how it compares to the original Mega Pro palette. What the outer packaging of the actual palette itself looks like. And I don't know how well you can tell on camera.